Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be touching on health and nutrition, which I really do on my channel. But um, I feel it's important as far as natural hair growth and overall health. So I just wanted to touch on this this um, subject. And I a, a while back I had mentioned in one of my videos about I would do a video on chlorophyll. So I'm going to tie that in with this video because it's relevant. Um, in one of my old videos I talked about my experience with um, electric shocks. And it was a period of time maybe about maybe four, four or five years ago where I, I was like hitting like felt like electricity was running through my body and it was like I was being tasered like with a stun gun and it was traumatic for me because I've never experienced anything like that before. I went to several doctors, they never saw anything like that before. I literally was at the ER um, emergency room and I would be sitting waiting to be seen and I would just like completely jump out of my seat and I was flip flopping like a fish. Um, on the floor. It took about three of the EMTs to put me back into a wheelchair and um, they really didn't have a diagnosis for what it was. So I pretty much did self-care. I purged and just started eating only fruits and vegetables. I was eating a lot of cherries. I was eating green and leafy vegetables which that, that ties in with the chlorophyll. And I purged, I was just drinking um, fresh juices, water, and just vegetables. I was not eating anything with, with any kind of preservatives or anything, um, anything like that. So um, I have the, this is the time I had pulled stuff offline onto the research. And um, I pretty much, um, once I started doing this um, regimen, the, all the symptoms went away, all the, the, the problems, the electric shocks just started going, fading away. So um, chlorophyll is known for the radiation protector. It is known to protect you from any source of radiation. Now when I was having the electric shocks, I thought I was having um, electromagnetic hypersensitivity, which is right here. If you can see that, put it real close. And that is related to Wi-Fi. I thought I was allergic to Wi-Fi at one point when that was happening, when it first happened, because there is such a thing called um, EHS. So when I read up on it, it says that you can be, and while I was having the electric shocks, anything that was electric, I could not be around. If the plane was flying overhead um, in the area, I could feel the electricity. It was during the summer, so I could not turn the fan on. I could not walk by the um, refrigerator. I could not watch TV. Anything that had electricity, I could actually feel the electric shocks. Never heard of anything like this in my life. Never experienced it again after that after that situation. But I, the chlorophyll. Let me go back to the chlorophyll. Is any green foods with chlorophyll? Any green foods have chlorophyll in it. So um, I was eating a lot of kale during that time, um, collard greens, I was eating, um, drinking the water after I would actually boil the kale and the collard greens, I would actually drink the raw water that was boiled in it. That also was helping me because it has so much nutrients and vitamins in it. And um, they, they also list the type of foods for chlorophyll that has chlorophyll in it. It has cabbage, leafy green vegetables, spirulina wheatgrass and sprouts and kale and um, let me see this they said in conjunction with green vegetables fasting and the, the results just I'm not sure what that is was just fascinating which doesn't make any sense some of this is cut off so I'm not sure what that means but anyway um, Radiation toxic toxicity is, is um, you know, it's important to know how to handle that as, you know, you just never know what would happen. And how to um, heal from any kind of um, radioactive substances. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. 
I don't think too many people are talking about this, so I thought I would bring this to your attention. Now, I'm going to tie this in with the top 10 foods for healthy hair. So, um, number one is salmon, which is one of my favorite fishes. I love salmon. Um, walnuts is number two. Oysters. Hold on. Sweet potatoes is number four. Five is eggs. Six is spinach. Seven is lentils. Eight is Greek yogurt. And I noticed when I was eating a lot of yogurt, my hair was just flourishing. It was just, yeah. And also using yogurt as a conditioner also works if you put an egg. Egg white, well not a whole one egg, and then put some yogurt and put some castor oil. You can use that as a conditioner, and then maybe a little bit of mayonnaise, because that that'll work too. I I was one time either use mayonnaise or yogurt, but if you want to mix it all together as a concoction, that that'll work. And then number nine is blueberries. Number ten is poultry, which I get enough of chicken <laughs> in my diet. So I just wanted to come on with this. Oh, and I have another sheet here that says 10 best foods for your hair. Load up with protein, bananas, and dark green veggies, and lean meats, lean red meats. Eggs, bananas, bear, oat, oh yeah, oatmeal. I have a thing for oatmeal. Oatmeal also helps you with stress. It uh, decreases your stress level. So there's two things that I do if you're under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. Oatmeal and apples. And I'm noticing also oranges. Um, when you eat it on a regular basis, it really tones down your stress level and anxiety. Okay, I have dark green leafy vegetables. Oysters. I love oysters. Um, it has zinc. Oysters have zinc in it and minerals that help regulate it, the production of Adrogens, if I'm pronouncing that right, adrogens. These are hormones that in low levels are associated with hair loss. So um, that is good to know. Um, rich, zinc rich choices like oyster, along with crab, clams, liver, lean beef, and wheat germ will help stave off hair loss and keep your mane shiny and healthy. So we have sweet potatoes again, which is packed with beta carotene, vitamin A, and it, it protects against dull hair and dry skin and causes, um, it's a leading cause of, well, dry skin is a leading cause of dandruff. Other smart choices of getting hair and skin includes carrots, kale, butternut squash, asparagus, and pumpkin. And then we also have beans, so any type of kidney beans and lentils is good for protein. Um, we have fruits and veggies, which are full with vitamin C, which helps your body absorb iron. We have the best sources of broccoli, leafy vegetables, and green peppers, citrus fruits, and strawberries. Then we have omega fatty acids, which is the salmon that I just spoke of. Um, good sources are salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel, flaxseed and walnut, walnuts. And the last thing is vegetable oil. Now I use a lot of olive oil, but they have vegetable oil. No, no one wants lackluster hair, so um, olive oil, peanut butter, safflower, and su sunflower can restore shine. So I just wanted to come on and pop on real quick and share that with you. Um, my, my bun is still going strong, y'all. It is still going strong, so I'm not messing with it, but um, whenever I do the next video, I will probably do a TGIN and um, do a product review, so keep your eyes out for that, and if you have not subscribed and you would like to be a part of the tribe, if you like the vibe, join the tribe, and um, we will chat later. Just make sure you hit that red button below. And we will talk later. And if you have any comments or if you have any recommendations as far as this video, as far as if you want to share some of your health um, strategies um, and what you do to keep your your body healthy most much more and uh, your your hair, 
um, just drop that in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and we will chat another time. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. Peace.